What's going on guys? My name is Aaron and welcome to my channel where we talk all things crypto and marketing. Today I'm going to tell you my goals as a new crypto investor. Um, I'm going to talk to you my strategy, whether it's a good strategy or a bad strategy, based on those goals, the coins I like and I'm following, and then exactly how much I'm starting off with in my wallet. I'm going to reveal everything, every dollar, and don't laugh at the dollar figure, okay? I'm, again, I'm just starting. I'm a brand new investor and I am just excited to start investing in crypto. Okay, so let's get right into it. The goals, I have five goals when starting to invest in crypto. The first being, I want one Bitcoin. That is one of my goals. And the reason why is because I, I believe that one day people are gonna be, you know, right now people wanna be known as millionaires. I believe that one day people will be known as Bitcoinaires, like just to own one sweet, Bitcoin, you're like, Mac. Da oh my goodness, that guy owns one Bitcoin. Like that's what I want, and that's what I want to be. I want to like, I want to be a Bitcoin heir, and and that's just like the aspiration here. That's the first one of my goals. Just because I see Bitcoin just uh, being such a store of value, being such uh, a concentration of you know just a lot of monetary energy. Um, thanks, Michael Saylor. For that term, uh, but yeah, that's what that's what I'm excited to to know as that's my first goal. My second goal here is I would like to master trading. I feel like tr mastering trading is like learning how to fish. Okay, like if you know how to fish, you'll never go hungry, and if you know how to trade, you'll you'll never be poor. And I know that most um, people, most day traders, 90% of them fail. I don't care. I don't care about the statistic. I want to be in the 10% that don't fail. And I realize that, hey, the strategy is to buy and hold long term. I don't care. I want to learn how to trade. I want to learn how to day trade. I want to know all those Fibonacci, Bollinger, ban I want to know. I don't know any of that stuff right now. I want to know it and I want to master it. I want to be able to look at a chart and not get confused about a RSI, Stotch RSI. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to know. Okay. So that's my second goal. My third goal is I want to start a community that is uh, trustworthy, uh, that is dedicated to wanting to learn crypto. That is another one of my goals. And the reason for that is because the reason why I got into crypto in the first place was because I, I have a lot of trust in guys who are a lot smarter than me um, who started investing in crypto. And they were like, Aaron, you need to invest in Bitcoin. You need to buy Bitcoin with this thing. And so I did. And now I'm, I'm in it. I'm fully convinced. I'm fully in it. And But I want to build out this community because I start talking to my family members and they're like on the outskirts. Their only person that is in, interested in investing in Bitcoin is me. And I can't, I'm not the best source for that. You know, I'm like, I might know some things. I do some research and, but I'm just really parroting. We need like a mastermind of trustworthy. I don't want people selling stuff. I don't want gurus in there. I don't want people who would be like, I've been trading for seven, seven years. Look, the game is different from last seven years, even last four years, even last year, the game is different. And so, I really believe that I don't I don't know if there's a lot of guru, guru. How could you have a how could you be a guru in something that just started? It doesn't make sense unless you're like a master trader. But even still, this is crypto like the volatility totally different. So it I just want a trustworthy community. And I, I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to build that. I haven't found that anywhere. Um, and so I just want to build that. The fourth goal I have is to, I want to build a portfolio of one hundred thousand dollars. Now, truthfully, this number is just arbitrary, right? I just picked a number, 100,000, that sounds good. Uh, but in relation to where I'm starting at with now, it's like, I'm like, oh my goodness, that's a lot of, that's a lot of money. And so that's what I want. I want a portfolio of $100,000. Particularly, I wanna, I wanna see about 50% of my portfolio in Bitcoin and the other 50% in other coins. I don't really care. Uh, I know Ethereum's mooning right now, but I, I'm not too sold on Ethereum based on like Cardano coming out and stuff like that. So 50% in Bitcoin, 50% in altcoins. And the fifth one, and this is the craziest one, is I want to totally abandon the dollar bill. I want to totally disregard, burn, throw away, never use again the dollar bill. I don't want to use the dollar bill. If the dollar bills come to me, no problem. Come to me dollar bills. But then I will grab you by the neck, choke you out, flip you upside down, and turn you into Bitcoin. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and the reason for that, again, uh, I just think the dollar bill, like, like I believe I want to be a Bitcoinaire because Bitcoin is uh, growing. I think that the dollar bill is 
dying and withering. Will it ever go away? It'll only go away if the United States goes away. I don't see that happening in my lifetime. I don't see that happening anytime soon. But I, I mean, I just see these prices of eggs and houses and milk and gas all rising. And I'm like, my income's not rising proportionally. What is going on? But if I put it in Bitcoin, it, it kind of is rising to those rates even a little faster, which is kind of cool. And so those are my five goals that I am very interested in uh, uh, seeing accomplished. I don't really have a timeline, but I know that timelines are important to establish goals. So I want to see this by the end of um, by the end of year one, so 2022, I'd like to see two of these five goals accomplished. Um, I'm not sure which two. I'd like to see the community at least done um, and so and started. I mean, a community can be very, very small, very small community. It could be you and me. So it's just you and me and maybe 20 other people. So we're, we're, we're good. We're good. Okay, so the strategy that I have going into um, investing and trying to uh, attack these goals. The first one is I am using crypto.com as one of my exchanges and that's going to be my buy and hold long-term exchange I'm, I'm staking CRO and the reason why I stake CRO is because I'm trying to get that card I got the card actually the red card I want the green one because which is pretty sweet because but the red card on CRO on crypto.com allows for 2% cash back on all purchases so if I totally abandon the dollar bill that means I get 2% back on all, per that's effectively giving me a 2% raise. And so, uh, I mean, I think I could do it on all things except for my mortgage, but eventually I'll be able to take that out of my mortgage. So I'm not sure uh, what I'm gonna do there, but that's for sure, that, that's what I'm doing. I'm staking crypto, um, CRO, and uh, it's gotten actually a really good return. It's something that I recommend you guys investing in. And the second thing is I buy and hold Bitcoin there, and then, and then I stake Bitcoin there. So I'm making a 12% return on that Bitcoin. So as well, I'm actually thinking about, you know, taking some other uh, emergency funds and just storing it there and staking it there. But I don't like to stake it because it's not liquid. So we'll see. That's that's kind of like up in the air. I'm trying to toy around with that. So that's the first thing. Use crypto.com. The second thing is um, I'm using Pancake Swap. OK, so I, I'm on uh, Pancake Swap, which is the BNB network, um, BNB smart chain network. I could make another video of how I do this onto the side it, anyway. It's basically where you uh, farm up, you provide liquidity to the market, and then you know you get money back. I don't know. I don't know. You get pancakes, the sweet, sweet syrupy pancakes. I'm, I'm collecting it. That's another strategy that I'm having to try to build a little passive income. The third thing I'm doing is I'm using Binance to trade, uh, to day trade, to learn how to day trade. One of those goals. So I'm using Binance to go through. I don't want to use Ethereum because if I'm day trading, I don't want to spend all that stuff in fees. Oh, there's a lot of fees in there. But Binance is only 0 0.002 of a BNB. Now BNB has gone up. It's mooning right now. It's over 400 last I, last time I checked. But uh, that's what I'm using. I'm using those three. Um, platforms exchanges uh, to you know you know trade I'm gonna use the buy and hold method with CRO but then I'm gonna day trade. I'm gonna learn how to day trade with Binance and then I'm gonna create passive income with um, crypto uh, with pancake swap so those are my three ap avenues right now it's time for the part where you are probably most excited I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of nervous to show you guys and it's the coins I liked I like follow how much I have in each coin and how much I am starting out with today just telling you and trying to shoot for that hundred thousand dollars that Bitcoin don't laugh okay it's a low amount it's a start it's just the beginning but uh, you know we're getting tax returns back we're getting stimmy so I'm gonna I'm gonna bolster this um, and I, this is not all my money just kind of being upfront with you like I said I have money in pancake swap I have money in CRO but this is how much is in my BNB wallet my BNB my Binance wallet and um, this is the ones that I'm going to try to grow to $100,000. So we're here in uh, Binance.com and uh, Binance, sorry, Binance.us. Now Binance, it, I didn't know this, so I'm going to just tell you. Binance.us is separate from Binance.com, which is like global or at least Japan. So you can't go, I, I you can't go with that Binance.com. You got to use Binance.us if you're in the US. If you're not, I don't know. You got to use Binance.com. Either way, so I've got 3000 three hundred and sixty seven dollars in my portfolio right now now the markets are have gone like crazy down today and so that's that's you know that's partially why this is um, I've got two dollars two dollars in here my Bitcoin currently uh, I have point zero one so I'm, I'm pretty far I'm 
pretty far off to the one to the one Bitcoin here, and it's worth about nine hundred seventy three dollars. Uh, I have ADA, and um, ADA is really biting me in the butt, man. I thought ADA was gonna moon in March. It's not. It's just sideways trade. Some you know, it's just lame. Nine hundred fifty one dollars there. I V Thor. I thought V Thor. So I, I I thought V Thor was gonna go up. It it's kind of it hasn't really. Uh, I wanted it to go to two cents, and it has touched two cents, which was why I, ex I was excited about it. But we have six hundred and twenty dollars there. Now this is a trade that I just made recently. Mana Decentraland. If you haven't checked out Decentraland, please check it out. Another video of mine. I just started there. It's kind of fun. Um, I've only been on there a couple times. It's worth five hundred and fourteen dollars. This isn't actually a winning trade for me, and Harmony has been a bad trade for me. Now I sold my BNB at like two seventy, and it's gone to like four hundred, which I'm like kicking myself for, but. That's the game. I'm trying to learn. I don't know. And then there's some just some dust, dusty stuff in Ethereum. So altogether, I'm I'm about three hundred, three thousand three hundred dollars. I'm gonna show you my orders, um, and what what I you know what my moves are. So just today, as you can see, four seven, it's four seven. Um, just today, I took my vet, which I love V chain, and I'm not sure why I did this. But I sold it at 10 cents. It's now 11 cents, which I'm kind of kicking myself now for. I sold it at 10 cents, which I thought it was good. I bought I bought in uh, V chain probably at like four cents, and I was like kind of trading and taking profit. So I sold at 10 cents, and I made 492 dollars. I then took that a little bit after and bought mana at 85 cents. Now I've tra I've been tracking mana, and mana went up to a dollar ten. So um, you know, I'm hoping it does the same thing. I bought it 85 cents. Hopefully, it makes it to a dollar, dollar ten. When it gets to about probably a dollar, about over a dollar, I'm gonna sell again, and I want to go back to my my sweet baby vet. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'll go through why I like going into every one of these things, also. But um, yeah, and so I spent spent it there. These are just the most recent tra trades I made today. Yesterday, I bought Ada at a dollar twenty eight, um, and it's like a dollar twenty now. So Ada is just Ada, you're killing me, man. You're killing. You're killing all of us. I know a lot of us are holding some Ada with some big hopes, but I, I don't know. What, whatever, dude. I thought that Coinbase thing was gonna was gonna moon it, but nah. And then I sold my ENJ, which is like a bunch of NFTs. And then this is where I bought in one. I bought in one at 17 cents and it's like worth 14 cents now. So I'm losing on that one. But you don't really lose until you know until, until you sell. So anyway, uh, that's that's it, guys. That's that's all I got for you today. If it's if I mean sh sharing my wallet with you and the coins I'm following, I feel like it's a very personal thing. And so if it's something that you appreciate and you hit you you know you only hit the like button every once in a while in every video every so videos, can you pre please appreciate that I'm sharing with you something extremely personal. Ex I'm extremely vulnerable here. And so if you could hit the like button as a return, maybe a little generosity my way, that would be so grateful. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my video. Thank you so much for following with me in my journey on learning crypto. Um, and if you wanna follow along, please hit subscribe and share this video. Thanks again, and I will see you on the next video.